One reason we love the story of the pilgrims is because it's got a terrific ending, the first Thanksgiving. But the way we imagine that historic feast and what really happened are as different as Miles Standish and Miley Cyrus. Take the menu. Did you know that one of the main dishes on the pilgrims' table was eel? The truth is that the whole story leading up to the first Thanksgiving is stuffed with fictional cranberries. And what about the Pilgrims' signature contribution that we love them for the most, the first Thanksgiving? The event happened somewhere between early September and early November 1621. We know from a letter that there was a celebration. That letter, written by Pilgrim Edward Winslow, is the one and only eyewitness account of the event. It's the key to untangling all the facts from the fictions. So, in his account, he must highlight turkey as the main course, right? Even though turkeys are indigenous to the region, the Winslow letter never mentions them. It only describes four hunters being sent out to bag some water birds for the feast. And turkey are landfowl. They can barely swim. What about that cherished gesture of generosity? The pilgrims inviting a few of the Indians to pull up a chair. That never happened. The Wampanoag simply show up in huge numbers, outnumbering the pilgrims almost two to one. A lot of the paintings and the pictures on Thanksgiving, the colonists outnumber the native people by a large amount. We know there was probably over 90 native people at that feast. We know there was about 50 colonists. And the pilgrims don't so much feed the Wampanoag as the Wampanoag feed the pilgrims. Their chief, Massasoit, sends his tribesmen on a hunt and they provide enough food for everyone. They bring back five bucks of venison, and venison is so esteemed by English people. To receive a gift of venison is extraordinary to them. And venison was the meat on the table that everybody went oohed and odd over and said, oh yes, this is living. Deer meat, not turkey, is the signature dish on the table. But one thing we can all agree on this was definitively the first Thanksgiving, establishing an American tradition we've been observing ever since. Sorry, but that's baloney. The truth is that the pilgrims never would have called their harvest feast a Thanksgiving, which for them is a solemn day of prayer spent in church. As the years pass, the influence of the Puritans wanes and nobody spends all day in church anymore. But the tradition of the harvest feast lives on in New England, and at some point, the name Thanksgiving got attached to it. Which is pretty ironic because the Puritan Thanksgiving focused on fasting, while the New England Thanksgiving is all about feasting. When Edward Winslow's letter is discovered in 1841, the New Englander who finds it decides the Pilgrim's Harvest Feast ought to be called the First Thanksgiving. It's not until 1864 that it even becomes a national holiday. But once we fall in love with a myth, the real story usually hasn't got a chance, even if it's better than the legend. So chew on that the next time you're chowing down at the Thanksgiving table.